Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today I thought we'd be doing like a little bookshelf organization because there are some things that I kind of want to make on like a video so specifically these guys. It's pretty but not sustainable unfortunately. So yeah, I'm also making, I might be doing some kind of on haul as we go along. I do see some books like right after that for my makeshift tripod. I know I should really get a tripod at this point since I seem to be serious about my schedule, about my YouTube. I'm hoping that I can make it full time one day. <laughs> but for now, let me just focus on my author stuff because I really want my author to be full time. So that's my main goal. <laughs> and yeah, I also see some stuff on the ground as well. And we will work from there. Alright, so I might have to get a chair. BRB. Or maybe not. Actually, let's see. And also, the other part, the other reason why is because these guys will fall, especially that big book. Okay, I know, I'm short, excuse me. <laughs> I do have some books that I can put back on the shelf. Honestly, I could definitely get rid of these two. Um, I thought it was okay, but I don't see myself reading it again. So they, this book was definitely eccentric quite a bit. So I don't know, it just wasn't really my taste. And this one was okay, but I don't think I will also read a sequel, which is somewhere down here or it's over there. But yeah, I don't see myself reading these two again. Again, spectacle, spectacle. It was kind of good, but I don't see myself reading it again. So it has been a while, but yeah, it has, I think this is kind of like Jack the Ripper series, kind of, something like that. So along those lines, I don't know what the first book was called. I do have it somewhere, but I'm getting rid of this one. This was the book that started it all. My Incart Trilogy. I can't get rid of it. I can't. It started the meeting for me. I remember reading this when I was elementary. I think I was like in grade 5 or something. Or grade 4. Something like that. And my teachers were kind of worried because they weren't sure if I was able to understand the book. Just because at that time my, my reading comprehension wasn't that great. It is. It has been improved quite a lot up to today because I've been constantly reading. But I remember my teacher asking me, hey, do you understand what's happening in that book? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I totally do. So this book started it all. And I'm honestly, like, people from grade 4 can actually read it. It's not that difficult and complicated. From what I can remember, it's clean. But again, it's been such a long time. But yeah, she's been well loved. My friends have brought this book. But, um, I learned the hard way that people don't take care of your books. That's what happened. <laughs> but, I will never get rid of this series. I actually have the movie, Incart. I actually have the movie. It was actually pretty good. So, Dustfinger. I love my Dustfinger. <laughs> but, I will never get rid of this. <laughs> um... I think I'm also going to get rid of this guy. I never been hating it, <laughs> so I'm just so slow and boring, but I don't foresee myself meaning coming back to it, so I'm going to get rid of this. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of the first three books. Um, I might, I might not. It depends, but we will see. Um... I think I'm also gonna get rid of this book too. It was okay, not my favorite, but it was okay. Also, I'm also not gonna get rid of this book because she is actually my friend. My friend had published a book, so it's a vampire book, and I thought it was fun. It was a fun read. So if you do like vampires book, 
This is a, it was a fun read, so I think you guys will like this one. Um, I know I am not a vampire person at all, but it was pretty fun, and I kind of and I wanted to support her, so. This is what's it called. It's book one. I don't know if she actually released another book of this. It's actually been quite some time, so yeah. I will actually update you guys, so yeah. Okay, and obviously I have my hush hush tag up. I'm telling there's something problematic with the author I actually don't know about. But I'm just gonna leave my hush hush tag up for now. Oh my gosh, they scared the crap out of me. I thought it was a real spider. Oh, get rid of to you, spider. <laughs> so, let's see what we have on the floor that I can put. Um. Again, it was like a three house, um, oh, three house, <laughs> three stars for me, I think it was. It was okay, nothing exciting. No. I'm gonna get rid of this. I hated this one so much, I'm getting rid of it. I'm sorry, I just could not stand it. <laughs> oh, the Mad Magician. I think I'll keep it. I'm gonna have a fun time with this, but I think I'll keep it. Captain Gemma, this was such a weird book, I don't know how to feel about it yet. But I'm gonna keep it because it's, it was a really weird book. Oh, just kidding, here's the Vow of Thieves, it was right here. So I'm getting rid of this, and I'm getting rid of this. I hated this book too, I could not stand the character at all. I think I will either borrow the book from the library, or read it as an audio book once it comes out. I don't see myself buying the second book. Yeah, I just could not stand the character. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I can finally put back my pretty shelves. Okay. Over here. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's kind of like Indiana Jones 2.0, but it just felt flat sometimes, but I might get rid of it. Actually, no, I'm gonna get rid of this one, even though they, I did give it like three stars, but I'm just gonna get rid of it. I don't see myself reading it again. I think I'm also gonna get rid of this one, too. Um, I remember not liking it, as far as I can tell. It is signed as well, and that's pretty cool, but, yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I feel like people are just publishing books just for the sake of publishing. Like, it's so sad there's no good stories that's actually meaningful. So, like, what happened to the good old days Well, you know, when we actually had stories that we're going to go low? It's sad. It's really sad. Also, I forgot to put this guy up here. Also, another series of mine that also started it all for me. I'm never gonna get rid of this series. So, it's a fun read. It's about fairies. I mean, who doesn't like fairies? Come on. <laughs> so, she's basically like the lost fairy of the kingdom and she discovers that she is a fairy even though she thinks she has being immortal for quite some time, like, oh no, I'm immortal, and, you know, that kind of thing, so. This is what it is. <laughs> I don't really see myself getting, oh, actually. I remember hating on this book. It was a boy. I'm sorry, but I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> I might actually get rid of these, it was okay, I just didn't really like how the stories ended from what I can remember, so. Okay, down here. I think you guys can see a little bit of the pink shell. Um. Oh, actually, I think I'm also gonna get rid of this one. I don't see myself leaning in again. I am definitely gonna get rid of this one. I'm sorry, I love the author. She's the author of Unblemished. 
but I just could not get into that book. Oh, yeah. This is the third book of the series. Honestly, I think it's time to let this thing go. It's been quite some time. I don't think I'm ever going to read it. I think I can just easily read this as an old video book. So, up and goes. Okay. Okay, I think you guys can see. I. So, up here. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't see myself reading it. I think I'm also going to get Enchante. It was okay. Not the greatest. You know what? It's time to let this go. Yeah. It was, I think it came out in two stars or three stars. I can't remember. <laughs> but I just didn't really have a good time. Let's see if we make shift. <laughs> uh, books. Um, I actually want to get rid of this. I hate this book too. Uh, why do beautiful covers have bad stories? <laughs> I also don't see myself reading this. It was boring. Let's get this out. Wow, that's pretty wild. <laughs> How much books I'm reading off. Oh, I actually want to get rid of this guy. It was a fun time, but goodbye. Oh, this was the book I was talking about in my, one of the videos. <laughs> For something. I forgot I had this book in the honesty. I think I might actually get rid of this book. I I don't know. It was, I just felt like it was a fell on. It is part of a trilogy, but... Adios, amigos. Bye. I'm gonna go see what's in my closet, so I'll be right back. So, I am planning on getting rid of this one. I don't see myself reading it. I wish I could get rid of this book, but... Obviously, I can't. Ah, uh, I'm so sad. And I found out one of my highlighter notes. <laughs> I'm so sad I cannot get rid of this. I'm sure I can give this to a friend, maybe. She can just get rid of these things, but... I hated this book so much. Oh my god, it was a nightmare. So honestly, that's it I have on my closet. Um, I never had too much hateful books <laughs> that I thought I had. So, I'm just going to put all of these books. And then... Yeah, I, mean, I think that will be pretty much it. I mean, it's okay. I actually see those two books being shoved over there. But, um, yeah. So this is pretty much it. <laughs> my pink shelf belly. But I'm not touching my main... Oh, I actually forgot about this side of the book. Um... Yeah, nope. Pretty much what I want to mean. Okay, now I'm right, yeah. Alright, let's put stuff back to normal. <laughs>
much finished, so I actually have a lot of bugs. Oh my god. I thought something fell. Ooh, I do see one more bug I can get rid of from this stack. Um, but um, let me let's see. I will show you how it is now. So I I don't mind how it looks. Like that looks pretty nice. There are some things I can kind of make it better, but it is what it is for now. So this is how my top shelf looks like. It's just a whole bunch of reds and black with a little touch of gold. So that is that. And then down here are my yellows, blues. Uh, not blues, I you know those and greens, so I still do want to read Pandora and maybe pet the gown. But we will see. So this is what mine is. And then down here I think this could still be better. I but um oh my gosh, here it is. I was looking for this. Oh my god. I actually might get rid of this one. I have to see what, what I read on my Goodreads. I think this is also the book I didn't really like. So yeah, this is also a work in progress. I might get rid of this. It was a cute, cute, fun read. Uh, it's definitely... Oh, maybe I can give it to one of my co-workers' child. I know she likes to read, so... I wonder if she will like it. Hold that thought. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's still a little bit better, but... Mm. I'm waiting for this book <laughs> so I can hate it. Uh, I kind of wish I didn't buy it, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I might give out this book too. I will see what my rating is, and I'll probably actually might get rid of this. So let them burn. So I might also get rid of that, but again, based on my readings, I can't remember what I gave for them. Down here, I got my bands, tools, don't ask. <laughs> Um, it could be better, I suppose. I actually, again, I will go see what the readings is. This one, I'm pretty sure it's a three stars. I might get rid of that one. Oh, actually, I think I gave this book two stars. I can get rid of this one. Um, but yeah. I mean, again, it could be a little bit better. I do miss my original shelf, but it's not really practical. So we, we're getting there with the organization. Down here, I barely have any pinks. <laughs> so, I know, this is like out of the blue. I just didn't know where to put them. I mean, I guess I can put it with my yellows. I'm not sure. I have to look it up. And obviously down here, I'm not touching all my mangas and comics. I have like Batgirl and Batman, so I'm gonna just like way over here, and I have like the Flash, Supergirl, Starfire, she is really, I really love the drawings for what they did to Starfire, I really love it. And we got Zelda, as you can see, front and center, and photography. What do we have in here? Oh, my witchy stuff. My Greek mythology. Marvel, Captain America's my favorite, and Scarlet Widow. And yeah, and just a whole bunch of manga from Zelda as well. So. Are you guys ready to see my unhaul? I am really good actually. It, like, when these some things, you've got to be brutal. I'm sorry, but that's the only way. Ba 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 ba! Those are my line rebooks. So, yeah, <laughs> good job. This is gonna be my thumbnail. Oh my gosh, thumbnail. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, that thing was eight bucks. So, let's see what we have. So we have like guns of Jane and Shadow. Again, it's kind of like Indiana Jones 2.0. Um. Oh my gosh, it's my. Um, my rib for my last year Halloween. <laughs> okay, so I will probably give this to my to the kid of my co-worker. I'm sure she will love it. It's clean, so there's no naughty stuff, if you know what I mean. I'm getting rid of these trilogy. It was fun, but I don't see myself reading it. <sighs> you ain't gonna go. And we have an Easter egg. 
Ta da! I'll punch you here. I'm killing kingdom, it was fun, but nope. Forging stone into stars, I hated it. Once a broken pot, pot, once a broken heart. It was okay, but I don't see myself reading it. Enchante, it was okay from what I can remember. The parish seamstress, I don't see myself reading it. I wanted to love this, but I think I gave this guy two stars. And that's an Avengers, it was okay. <laughs> that's what my review is basically gonna be. A touch of gold, again, it was okay. I already did like wrap pops for most of these books, so I don't really need to do a touch them on. And Luminous Fate, once again, okay, okay. Don't see myself reading it. The plot was cool, but I just wish it was expanded more. Why is so much rape? Like, that was the one thing that actually turned me off. Like, it was just so much of it, I'm like, oh my god, I can't really read this. So, I think I'm giving it 3 stars in the end. I hated this book. Never gonna see myself reading it. Hated it. Never see gonna see myself reading it. It was okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the other side for now. And this is the book I'm gonna get rid of. I never gonna read this. So again, and yeah, that's gonna fall. Oh well. So these trilogy, Girls of Paper and Fire. Eh, it was fun, but yeah, I don't wanna read this anymore. It was okay. Okay, I think I didn't really like this book. I can't remember what I gave it. I have to go see. Again, okay, okay. It was a little bit eccentric for me. I hated it so much. I kept hyping it up. But honestly, Zidane, it's not so charming. I'm sorry. I hated this book too. Why do pretty books have such bad stories? My goodness, it's like what's happening to the publishing all? Yeah, just writing books for the sake of writing books. Let's make this before it actually falls, how about that? So this is what I mean by my makeshift tripod. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually going to count how many books I have on hold, and I guess that'll be it for this video, so I'll be back. So I got 34 books on hold. Pretty great. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to get rid of it, but I might have to keep one of the books because I'm doing something for my book read, so yeah, 34 is actually not that bad, I'm pretty great, so when it comes to like decluttering, if you will, you have to be brutal, it's the only way that you're gonna get rid of stuff, so yeah, let me know what you think about your shelf, I get it, it could be better, I know, but it is, this way is more practical than my pretty shelf. It's okay, but it is what it is. But um, yeah, if you guys like this, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. So you'll be notified every time I post. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!